Merry Christmas, everyone. Today, in the honor of the holidays, I'm going to be showing you how to make a little fast food booth. Now, this is actually a pretty convincing piece compared to little diner sets we've seen in previous incarnations of Forge. And the best part is, you can accomplish it with only three pieces. The first being the accent wall, found in walls, accents. Anyways, the next can be just a simple wall, simple. Um, this is a two by four by four. I'm not great with the whole measurements thing, I'm just reading what it says there, but I'm sure most of you can probably find this. The next will be a TV monitor screen. I've just gone ahead and flipped it on its side. Now, I've already had a few people tell me that this does not look like a table, which I am aware of, but I just like it for some reason. It gives it a bit of a futuristic feel. So anyways, in making this little booth, it really is quite simple. You're going to go ahead and take this piece right here, the wall accent. I decided to color mine orange just so it has kind of a boothy, a more boothy theme. You're going to raise it up a bit, take these wall pieces, just go ahead and sink it right up so it kind of so the little metal beams right there are hidden inside the little wall piece. Then of course you're going to go ahead and duplicate that. Go ahead and move it over. I want to go ahead and apologize for these little awkward pauses as this is a bit harder to reforge than I thought it would be. You get the idea though. In the meantime, how's everyone's Christmas been? You know, I actually was not really asking for much this year, but I got a Breaking Benjamin vinyl uh, record, and I've never had a vinyl record before. That may, not, uh, that may sound sad to most of you, but it really was my first vinyl record, and I'm super excited because I'm going to see them uh, perform, actually, in, I think, February. So, once you've gotten to this point, as you just saw, I went ahead and duplicated the little wall accent and flipped it up to be more of a, more of like the back part of the seat. Oops. Now I'm just gonna tinker with it a little bit more. I'm standing it up a little straighter, just to, you know. You're then gonna go ahead and slide this in. You know what? I'm going to make my life easier and just take the one that I already built down here. going to dupe that. It's not perfect. This incarnation at least. You can always go back and, you know, use Z, the Z-Fighting tool to straighten things up. I record my videos using the Xbox um, Clips DVR thing, or Upload Studio I guess I should say. So I only have five minutes, and right now I'm at about four minutes, so I gotta go ahead and try and wrap this up as quickly as possible, but I do hope that you, I'm getting my point across. So, once you have this little booth, you essentially will just duplicate it, or make a little group out of it, turn it on its side, and place this um, TV monitor right in between. I know this may seem like a bit of a half-assed um, tutorial, but it is Christmas, and I just wanted to try and get something out for you guys since I haven't uploaded now in a couple days. If you'd like to see these booths in action though, you can see this fast food restaurant that I'm currently working on. Once you make these pieces a little group, you can just keep on duplicating them and make an actual fast food-like area, or diner. I guess this floor is more of a diner fitting section. but. As you can see, this is already worlds more um, visually representative of actual fast food restaurant booths than we've ever had in Forge before. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and have a Merry Christmas. Commander Coulson, out.